Oh, that yam. That should be good yam to eat. Back here is growing again. Put some lemon. Olive tree there. I'm waiting for plants to grow back. Lemon grass, new bananas growing. Hoping that we have some luau, balsami for the what do you call for our Christmas? There's some strawberry there. Mm -hmm. Look, the ants are on top of it. Try to eat it. Lemon grass, taro, everything's grown. Got some new taros here. A new plantation. Hopefully, um, Two more weeks before Christmas. Hopefully we got some child leaves, some balsamic tea. My plantation. And there's a salmon banana. Just starting to get fruit. The other one's gonna, new one come out. And yeah. A taro for the old wives. Soon enough we'll be able to make luau for the Christmas. Yeah. Okay. That's the story of the backyard. <laughs> hey guys, here's our ingredient for our lunch today. Um, I've got pork chops here. The garlic fin that I butcher and a uh, bok choy. I'm gonna make a uh, cook some bok choy with pork chops, slice it up, and I've got some mullets here, fresh mullets here. I'm making um, a nice raw fish with some lemon later, and some taro and um, kara coconut cream for our for our cooking for our taro. Okay. Nice and fresh ingredient. There's some um, oyster sauce here. You can add it in a uh, fair food. Okay, let's start cooking, guys. First, the lemon in the water. Let's boil. We add our taro. And cook it until it's cooked. Hey guys, I'm gonna clean our fish before I cut. Cuts off, it's already scaled from the fish shop. Okay, I'm just gonna cut the line on the skin, chest skin. See a bit of scale in there. I'm not um, really good at doing this. See the bones here, the fin? Then you slice your knife up there. Just cut just the skin. I'm gonna skin the fish. Do the same thing on the stomach, go around the fin, and then go around here, see? You need a really sharp knife. Not everybody can lean a fish like this, but this is how I do it. I'll get a knife, the edge of the knife under here, and poke it under the skin. Do the same thing on the other side. Just under the skin, not to them through the meat. Yeah. Your yeah, knife, scrape it off. Just do it your way. You might be a better fish cleaner than me. But this is how I do the, my fish. Because things are so expensive, so you gotta really careful with what you get and save as much meat on it there and uh, skin scrape it and pull back here you go and do the same thing on the other side and do the same drag the skin back oh, 
See, I stuffed it up. That's all right. Take your time. This is mullet. What I'm going to do now, I'll cut the flesh off. The meat. Okay, cut the meat off. Just run your knife through the bone. Try to save as much meat as I can by cutting it off the bones. Let's do the stomach. Let's try to stay in the camera. Put your hand down there and track. Oh, I didn't cut this up. Never mind how am I doing? Hey guys, got a nice thick fillet. And you clean this side off. And what I'm going to do, except cutting all that meat off, I get my um, twist and just pull the bones out. And you feel the bone? That way you save a lot of meat in the stomach. Put it in ice. Beautiful piece of fish. Okay, so our taro is ready. You can take the lemon skin off or you, you know, or not. It's all right, it's nothing, not gonna happen nothing. Okay, now the coconut oil and cook. It's gonna stop, stick to our taro. I put a lid on it and bring it to the pour. And before that, pour it over. You just take the lid off it and turn it right down on low, and then turn it off. Guys, I took our tire off, and I'm thickening up our coconut cream. Mm -mm -mm. I keep those lemon in there because they're beautiful. That's a fat leaf color. Mm. Yummy. Yummy, yummy for your tummy. Guys, here's a um, little bit of raw fish for mom. Little bit of spring onion. And uh, cold water off the fridge. And that's it. A bit of salt. She can add it on lemon when um, she's ready to eat it. But here's um, one for us. It's um, a lot of cream. And um, spring onion. This one is for us. We like the creamy. Just a fresh fish, thickened cream. That's it. And put it in the fridge. Chill down. They're still very gold. Because the cream is gold. And um, the fish is gold. Uh, Bit of water added in there is gold. Then we add a lemon soon before we eat. And a bit of salt. There's our tipsy mullet. Healthy? A little bit healthy. <laughs> Guys, here's our pork. Look how thin. How thin our pork is. So I'm just gonna slice it. I'll keep the bone in it. Slice it this big. Wash it. And cook it. Fry it. And let the bones in there too, guys. It's very thin. They'll cook very quick, this pork. If you like, you can cook it one by one, fry it in a fry pan. But, oh well. You guys, here's our pork. Bit of tablespoon of chicken stock. 
bit of celery sap. Oh, I don't know where I'm recording. A little bit of um, soy sauce for the color. This is I'm just gonna fry a frying a pork, and then I'll fry the onion and separate. Right, so take our pork, took our pork out, put a fresh oil in there, and um, saute our onion. Yeah. Just fry that up a bit. I want my onion still hot. Take the light dry. Take all our onion, onion all about guys. There you go, halfway. Here it all covered. We don't want our onion to overcook. Just want to fry it up to bring the flavor swelling in it. So we have pork, pork back in. I fried up the pork with, uh, with the soy sauce and everything. Now let's add it back in before I need to overcook. There we go. Looking beautiful. You can add cinter if you want. Put some carrot. I peel the carrot and chili and I throw it in the microwave for 30 minutes. 30 to 20 minutes. Just a little bit. Cook, cook a little bit. And you need to just heat it up. Because it will stay hot. Okay guys, we're gonna turn this off and let it sit there what I'm going to put on our cabbage, a pork tray. So easy to cook. Guys, put them back. Food is beautiful, smells good. There's a bit of liquid from the pork when I cook the pork. Add it in there. Okay, I'll add about two tablespoons of corn flour. The reason why, let's give it a quick stir. Reason why, before I eat, add my cabbage. Because Bat Troy's got a lot and a lot of liquid in it. Okay, I'm going to add a oyster sauce. You can see I'm not adding um, salt on this food because I add a bit of soy sauce on it. You see the corn flour is mixing it up, it's picking it up. Because I add a bit of, um, what do you call, soy sauce and a bit of chicken salt. Okay, start adding our cabbage. Pork dry. Sweep it down. Because once a pork dry cook, brings out a lot of, lot of juice. That's why I add a bit of corn flour, picking that juice up. It's like a, see how many, chow mein. Very healthy. And the rest of the pork dry. And this will just go down very fast and quick once it is cooking, start cooking.
I always need to use a bigger box. Here you go, guys. Um, I'm looking for something. Oh, there you go. My favorite of all sesame oil. Mm -hmm. They're giving that whole meal a beautiful taste. And the Asian cake taste. Here you go. And it's done. And then add spring onion. And done. Guys, let's add our spring onion. Just freshen it up. I already turned the stove off. Because like I said, I keep cooking. In this pot, everything keep cooking. Okay, there you go. A uh, gentleman. All done. So, good ready guys. Mm -hmm. Strawberry guys. Hey guys, um of fresh strawberries <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh, I'm in my backyard now it's um it's beautiful. Everything's growing good. That's the way I want it. And um, thank you. Thank you for watching and thank you for your subscribe. Because you never know. Hear the birds? <laughs> yeah. Strawberry from your strawberry from your garden and a drink from your fridge. Nothing will go wrong. Cheers, guys.